Oh, hi. I'd like to spend a few minutes discussing organic nomenclature, which is a fancy way of saying how we name our carbon compounds. So I made a table up at the board. And the way the table is set up is we can go ahead and talk about having a number of carbons in a compound, starting at the very top with one. We'll focus on what are called hydrocarbons, hydrogen and carbon only. There are three families listed. We have up at the top alkanes, up at the top of this alkanes, but the vowel has been changed to E and it's pronounced alkenes. And over here the vowel has been changed to a Y, alkynes. Well, alkanes have exclusively single bonds. Certainly we're going to have single bonds between carbon and hydrogen because hydrogen only makes single bonds. But the carbon-carbon bonds have to be single bonds. If we have ourselves at least one double bond, we call it an alkene. If we have a triple bond, we call it an alkyne and it's pronounced as though it's a long I. We use prefixes in chemistry. If we have one carbon, we call it meth. And so nobody used to laugh at meth up until recently, but meth is the prefix meaning one carbon. So if we take a look at methane, the A-N-E ending is the family name telling us exclusively single bonds. Methane is the well, major component in natural gas. So out of your um, gas jets at home. Let me turn this on. We have some methane gas coming out of here. It might go into your clothes dryer, into your oven, stove, or your furnace, and it's CH4. It's a clear, odorless gas. Methane does not have a smell to it. That smell has been added for safety. We sneak a little sulfur compound in there. But methane, CH4, is the smallest, the simplest hydrocarbon. A quick picture as a part of a review would reveal Carbon with its golden rule, four bonds, hydrogen with one, so methane, CH4. We can go ahead and make long carbon chains. Nature of carbon is it loves to form long chains because of bond length and carbon's ability to form sp3, sp2, and sp bonds. So if I erase one of the hydrogens, I can go ahead and extend the carbon chain. I can have another carbon in a row. Uh, always making sure that we have four bonds to carbon will fill in with hydrogens. Two carbons, exclusively single bonds, and that brings us up to F. Prefix for two carbons in chemistry is F. Unfortunately, it's non-standard. We don't use like di or something meaning two, but F means two. Ethane, single bonds. There it is. If I were to make the carbon-carbon bond a double bond, let me do that, but I'll have to make a correction. Nice. Carbon-carbon double bond, quite stable. Problem up on the board is right now I don't have a correct structure. I've got too many bonds to carbon. So if I do a double bond, I need to remove a couple of hydrogens. C2H4. Four bonds to carbon, single, single, double. Carbon has very nice sp2. Let's take a look at its name. F for two carbons. Ene, meaning a carbon-carbon double bond. Right above this name, ethene, I put the name methene, insinuating one carbon, double bond, does not exist. There's no way to have a double bond to having one carbon and all hydrogens because hydrogen's not about to form a double bond. It's not going to happen. Also, up on the board, a little foreshadowing, I've got the triple bond with the meth, meaning one carbon. That's not going to happen as well, so we'll cancel those off in a moment. If we extend the carbon chain longer, we have different prefixes. Let's run down the list. Meth means one. Eth means two. Prop means three. People may have heard of propane gas for barbecues, heating their homes in rural areas. Recreational vehicles have propane tanks. Propane is a tank, a, a tank gas. It's a gas at room temperature and pressure. We can compress it into a tank, into a liquid even, and store it better. Bute, prefix for four carbons. Butane, as in cigarette lighters. Pent, prefix for five. Pentane. Up until whew, after four, these are all gases at room temperature and pressure. Then we get into liquids and eventually solids. I brought in a couple of samples here. A gas cylinder filled up with a lightweight C2H6 gas, ethane. Um, we can open up the valve, let some out. I brought in a heavier hydrocarbon. This one has seven carbons. It's called heptane, and it's a liquid at room temperature and pressure. This is found in small concentrations in gasoline. We have no desire to remove it. Gasoline is not entirely octane because these burn, give us plenty of energy. As the hydrocarbons get heavier, 
This is 18 carbons in a row with corresponding hydrogens. We make a solid. This solid melts at about 29 to 30 degrees C, a little bit lower than room temperature. On occasion, I've been known to handle this for about 15, 20 minutes, just hold it, and it starts to get rather slushy. Hey, it's starting to loosen up just in my hand. Heavy molecular weight, solid materials. And let me finish up our little prefixes on this. Hex, as in a hexagon, is the prefix for six. Some people may not know hept because we're not familiar with heptagons very often. Hept is the prefix for seven. Oct, octane, octagon, stop signs, eight. Known, as in nonane, is going to be our hydrocarbon with nine carbons. Known is the prefix for nine. And like a decade, ten, dec. Very nice.